So when you say uh, like extensive warm up, like what do you practically think that means? Obviously, so thirty minutes is not going to help you get through this book, but like what um, what would you say like would be a daily routine where you could practically incorporate this to see growth? Oh, I think to see growth, I think you could make it happen with, you know, 20, 30 minutes a day. Um, you know, the thing about it is, is that what people consider a warm up is actually quite different. So some people think yes. of that literally as, you know, all what you're doing is just quite literally getting the horn warmed up. And yeah, that, like your step that's one. <laughs> like, yeah. right, exactly. Yeah, and then yeah, so yeah. they might think of, you know, articulation practice as not being part of a warm up. I do. I or 100 I just yeah. went I I had just had a I just made a blog post about like what you should think about for your warm up and I had constantly people commenting saying like mm -hmm. all these things aren't really in a warm up and I'm like well then we're did you read the whole article it says at the end like if you don't if you don't think that's a warm up then we're not we're not talking the same language right now but yeah okay that that really yeah right so and then you know they'll not think that uh you know practicing mechanism is part of a warm up. Well, that's technique. Well, is technique part of a warm up? And so to clarify, you know what I'm saying when I say a warm up, I mean essentially your practice that you do before you do etudes and repertoire. Yeah, yeah. Quite plainly. Um, and so for you know for somebody who's going to practice three four hours a day, I would say a warm up could be an hour. You know, and yeah. they think well that's a lot. And well, it is, but what you're also trying to do is make your practice later on more efficient because those fundamentals are so well ingrained, yeah. you know, and that you're not having to revisit working on, you know, really refining articulation in your repertoire because you've already done that, you know, in a very specific way, or you're not having to think about a whole lot of fluidity and connection and control of dynamic and sound and all that in your repertoire and etudes because... You already set that up you know you yeah. can of course go too far and and not really warm up but just totally beat your chops up yeah burn out burn out before exactly you, start. you know <laughs> and so by the time you get to the repertoire you're completely you know gone you know and the control isn't there so it, it, for somebody who hasn't thought of you know doing a 45 minute or an hour long warm up um, or thinking of it that way, I'd say absolutely just start with 20 minutes, 20, you know, and have it just have it be prescriptive. Literally, what is it that you want to get better at while at the same time getting your horn warmed up and getting your playing ready to go so that if you know you only have an hour to practice that day or whatnot and it has to be on your repertoire because you have an audition or anything like that, yeah, yeah don't burn your chops out, you know, uh, with that sort of thing. Take what you need for the day, use it, and then as your routine expands or you get better and better at one thing, then you can focus on another. You know, and then you can say, all right, now I'm actually, I, I've got a bit of time. Now I'm going to put some double tongue into my routine, you know, or triple tongue. Or now I'm going to take those upper register long tones. I've done low register really well. I've got that set. Now it's time to start doing regular, you know, altissimo long tones and all that stuff. Um, so, like I said, I rec the, the reason why it's th structured the way it is, that's the order I go through when I practice. Yeah. Quite yeah. simply, that's the way I do it. However, how it should be used... Um, I think you could you could use it for two hours a day. You could use it for twenty minutes a day if needs be, um, and that should be like I said, d determined by what you really think is the most effective way to get going that day, and also what you think you need to focus on at the moment. Not everybody right now needs to be playing you know double G's really great. They they need to be working on their sound and their vibrato control. You know that's a much better warm up for 15 minutes to really work on beautiful straight tone, beautiful vibrato, that's a much better use of your time than screaming out some high notes if you have literally no use for that yeah. in your repertoire at the moment. You yeah. know? So prescriptively, I think, is the key. And then as you get to you know maybe the, the collegiate level where it's expected that you're practicing every hour that you, know, you have available, yeah, that's another um, class. then... Maybe you think about, you know, a, a longer warm up, a more all encompassing warm up, you know, and quite plainly when I'm yeah, back in the days where there were gigs uh, and I was uh, traveling for like quartet stuff and whatnot. And I uh, that day I knew I maybe have like 15, 20 minutes to myself before mm -hmm. we'd have to rehearse for the gig and then travel. It was 
that's precisely what I did is I would take 15 minutes of that of chops one and I would hit every little fundamental in fine detail so just three minutes you yeah, know yeah, but yeah. the world's most focused three minutes on you know overtone practice and then three minutes getting my double tongue warmed up and, and da, 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 da. Yeah. so even then you know as needs be and then once you feel like you're at a stage where you can practice that much then yeah maybe an hour hour and a half warm up because that like i said all encompassing long tones through technique as being your warm-up done with good mindful breaks don't just plug right through it you know um, but I think of a warm-up these days when I practice, and it's usually about an hour or so, I'm warming up for the rest of the day. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'm warming up my chops, I'm warming up the horn, but I'm also warming up my brain and my ears to get ready to actually engage with the instrument fully. Yeah, no, that's uh, 100%. That's, like, very validating, knowing that that's your <laughs> answer to that question, because that's how I've been treating it. <laughs> Excellent. Um, yeah. No, the, I, I really do think the, the order and it creates the utility of like how to navigate through, especially book one, because it's just 